Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many c -sharp developers encounter when working with DynamoDB. Our viewer is trying to dynamically change the table name in their code using the object persistence model. Let's dive into the details of this challenge and explore how we can find a solution. All right, guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To dynamically change the DynamoDB table name in c -sharp using the object persistence model, we need to understand that the table name must be a constant expression when using attributes. The error message states that an attribute argument must be a constant expression. This means we cannot directly use a variable for the table name in the DynamoDB table attribute. One solution is to use a different approach by specifying the table name at runtime when performing operations, rather than at the attribute level. We can achieve this by using the DynamoDB context directly. In this approach, you can create a method that accepts the table name as a parameter and performs the necessary operations without relying on the attribute. Finally, remember to refer to the official AWS documentation for more details on the object persistence model and its usage. This will help you understand the capabilities and limitations better. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To dynamically change the DynamoDB table name in your C-Sharp application, you can use the DynamoDB context overload that accepts a DynamoDB context config. This is particularly useful if you're managing configurations through files. In a .NET Core application, you can set this up by adding a transient service for iDynamoDB context. You'll retrieve the table name prefix from your configuration settings. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To dynamically change a DynamoDB table name in C-sharp, you can use the document model's table and document classes. The load table API allows you to set a table config to override the table name. The load table method accepts an iAmazon DynamoDB client and a table config parameter. The table config class provides methods to specify the table name. For example, you can create a table config object with your desired table name and then load the table. This allows you to retrieve items using the specified table name. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now, please hit subscribe for the help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.